Now that's an opening. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since you guys heard me doing the voiceover for a game, and oops, sorry about that. And um, basically, what happened was I wasn't able to record my voice for that game the way I would normally do it. It just it wasn't letting me. I think it just happened that the software I was using it was just really old. Well, not really old, but it's it's the older version than what I'm using right now, and yeah, so I um couldn't really record my voice for that one, but something about not recording my voice it just let me get deeper into the game, and I don't know, it just it seemed different than when I normally record for you guys like this. So yeah, it was different, but I'm glad I'm back. Uh, talking with you guys, and I hope uh, you guys did enjoy uh, Grim Legends The Forsaken Bride as much as I did. Anyway, on to this game. I finally learned how to say it. It's Enigmatis. So it's Enigmatis, The Mist of Ravenwood, um, and I, I'm i really interested in seeing how this played out since I liked the, really liked the first one. So let's dive right into it. So we're starting with the main story, and oh my god, she's so cute! Okay, hey, yes, we're sticking with casual. It's been two years since the events of Maple Creek. And I'm still on the hunt for the evil preacher. So far, the murderers stayed one step ahead, but I have a lead. There are rumors of people disappearing mysteriously on the West Coast. The situation sounds familiar. But could it just be a coincidence? What was that? Whoa, what on earth happened here? There's no evidence of a car crash. But that camper trailer is clearly damaged. What? How? Oh, I've never seen marks quite like that. Uh, we won't go for interactive help. But as you guys heard at the beginning, it is two years after the events of the first game. So we got some sparkles here. Got a flare. And it looks like we need to get into the first aid kit later. There's nothing else we can click here. And we got the four weights on. By the way, I call them four ways. What do you guys call them? If they have a different name for them. I know in some places there are different names. I just saw... Oh, maybe it was for this thing over here. Whoa. Oh, she's so cute! I'm collecting... Oh, I made the froggy disappear. Sorry, froggy. Uh, ooh, California. Uh, Rachel Simmons. Okay. So, she has... That doesn't look like blonde hair to me, but apparently... Oh, I mean, she could dye it. She... Oh, she could dye her hair. I, I can't pick up the keys. Oh, that was a morphine object. Okay. So apparently I have morphing objects in this game. And we can, like we can get in through there. But we do have the camper key, so let's open this thing up. Shall we? Oh, that was going to be an object scene. Oh. This looks like a very small camper. Or I just might be used to big one. Okay, so she was definitely the woman we saw running out at the beginning with that necklace. We're probably going to have to find this girl, and he probably didn't even come. He, he would. Oops. Oh, of course. I'm not going to use the flare to pick it up. Yeah, I've, I've, like, you know, seen strange things in some of these Hopa games. I thought we were going to open it. Oh, okay. Mom, where is she? 
It's okay, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. Let's get you out of there. Come on. Okay. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I'm here to help. Can you tell me what happened? My mom. She's gone. I'm scared. Is your name Becky? Becky, you're safe with me now. Take a deep breath and try to tell me again. Where's my mom? I want to talk to my mom. She's too shook up to talk to me. I need to calm her and win her trust somehow. I think she's like not fully talking to her. Like she came out of hiding, yes, but that's about all she did. Oh, looks like we got some. Oh, that's cute. There's probably gonna be a code for something. Oh, we can use that to get the key. And it looks like we'll need a, something butterfly shaped. Either her necklace or the mom's necklace. That's what I'm figuring. Okay, that's not the first aid kit there then. Oh no no, it's, it's outside! Jeez, Sarah. Whoa. What was that? I saw it earlier on the drive in. That thing's not creepy at all, is it? Nope, just those? Okay, then we're gonna look through her stuff. I'm figuring we're getting this teddy bear, which is missing a leg. Of course it is. No, you do. I actually found like a screw for it or something. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a. Ah, uh, I need to actually move that screw. Okay. Ah. Uh. Wind up. Okay. Well, let's put this in here. Well, don't trick. Aw. Poor animal. It's probably just hungry and you tricked and we tricked it. No scissors. And a butterfly clip. I need a needle first. You get the butterfly clip. That's a cute bear, by the way. Oh, try it up. Makes me think of a, something I just got for myself, actually. And then thread on my needle. Okay, sew up that leg. I told you we're getting the bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I usually got like this uh, sweater dress for myself. Okay, why don't we... Okay, I guess the bear first. She was a present for my mom. That looks so cute. That should only sting a little. Now look. My mom and dad are gone. A monster took them. Can you find them? A monster? Oh, sweetheart. There's no such thing as monsters. Yes, there is. Grab the girl! Grab the girl! How would she go flying out the window like that? No, like, like, how would she go flying out the window like that? That, that, that doesn't make any sense. It's all gone. The camper, my truck, Becky, where are they? And all the other stuff, too. 
What is going on here? Please tell me I'm hallucinating. I don't think you are. I really hope the sunlight was playing tricks on my eyes. The alarm clock from the camper. Wait, only 20 minutes have passed? Then why is it so bright all of a sudden? Oh, we're not collecting it? No, why are we here? Um, I'm not gonna. Okay. Okay. So they are more or less morphing. And we have our evidence board again. Okay, so we know that girl's. Who is this girl? Her name's Becky! Who is this girl? Like, her name is Becky. Come on, it's right there on the picture. But yeah, so we have our evidence board like we did in the first game. We have our uh, notebook, which does actually have some stuff in it. So, um, my voice is a little raw from reading, from not reading for a little while, but I hope I can jump back into it for you guys. So, the crime scene. I was driving towards the west coast in hoping to find the evil preacher when I swerved for a fog-like phenomenon or an overactive imagination. Immediately after, I came upon Ravenwood Park and, abandon and an abandoned ca camper. It's in bad shape, but I don't think it's it was an accident. Oh my god, I can't read. Sorry, guys. The girl. I found a girl hiding in the camper. She's terrified and has a scratch on her arm. Her parents are missing. If I calm her down and bandage her scratch, then she might tell me what happened. Okay. Uh, a monstrous... Oh, what happened? A monstrous raven that seemed like it ha was made of fog and shadow attacked Becky and me. I think I hit my head and blacked out. When I woke up, there was no sign of the camper, my truck, or the little girl. Now the sun is shining and there's no trace of the fog or Becky. What's going on here? So, haven't been reading in a while, but I think I did that pretty well. And I don't think there's anything left for us to do, so let's go through here. Uh, that's interesting. Cool, okay. Well, let's talk to these people here. I don't trust them already. Welcome to Ravenwood Park. I'm Gerald Whitmarsh, the owner. Mm, a missing family. A stolen camper. Monstrous creature outside my park. Okay, okay, please calm down, ma'am. I'll be happy to help you. But though I'm sorry to say we didn't see anything. We only opened a few minutes ago. Hmm. Seems I left my cell phone in my mansion on the other side of the valley. I'll go call for help. In the meantime, why don't you relax and tour the park a bit? Take a ride on the Redwood Gondola, free of charge. You can get a ticket here at the shop. Oh, and we just had new maps printed. Here, take one. They look great, don't they? In any case, you can find me in my residence on the other side of the valley. I think I left my cell phone in my mansion on the other side of the valley. Like, oh god. Okay, cool. Oh, it does look like we got a little bit of quick travel, so that's good. That'd be very helpful. Let's see what we got. Oh, the map. Nice, okay. Uh, there's a lot to see in this park, and the giant tree is the highlight. Records! Aww. Okay, I think we're about to. Oops. <laughs> Welcome to the park, ma'am. I overheard you speaking to Mr. Whitmarsh. What a frightening story. I'm sorry to say, I didn't witness a thing. Here's that Redwood Gondola ticket. You might as well enjoy the view. It'll be some time before help arrives. Should you need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask the park staff. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh, butterfly catcher. Okay. Uh, Trident Titan. Okay. The second largest living redwood in the world. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, is that the only one I can click on? Oh, cable car, museum of woodwork, lumberjack export, exposition. Wow. 
Uh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't a gondola usually that long boat you see in, on um, in like the in uh, Italy? I I, I mean I, I I could be wrong. Please enjoy your stay at the park while yeah. you wait for help to arrive. Oh my God! It reminds me of the people in um. Something's wrong here. Everyone's too friendly and cheerful. I should have a look around. You know, nine clues. When you try to talk to people and they just like seem really out of it. It reminds me of that. Oh, there's that symbol again. And I think this poor guy's missing an eye. Oh. I heard a woodpecker. <gasps> there it is! Oh, it's a woodpecker! Oh, I scared it away. My bad. Squirrel. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I love animals. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Hey. The butterfly hey. pendant. Becky was wearing it around her neck. Hi, Mom. She's gone. I'm here. What's it doing under the snack bar door? Is Becky in there? But they all claimed not to have seen a thing. Yeah, they claim to have not seen a thing. Everyone's too nice and friendly. Like, and when everyone is too nice and friendly, you gotta be suspicious. Closed for renovation. Oh, there goes my hope of eating breakfast. Oh, okay. Um, I know this trick. You have to slide something under the door, poke the key out, and then when you slide the thing back under the door, the key will come with it. <laughs> I guess you have to come back for that. Oh. Found my morphine object. Oh my god. Have I ever told you guys that, like, something like this, I would be. I would love so much? I don't know why I would, though, and. <laughs> We're just stealing from this poor guy. Good morning, ma'am. When the museum opens in a few minutes, you can go up and ride the gondola. That's not a, like, I mean, I think more of that as like a um, no, not zip line, but some something more along those lines than a, like a gon gondola. Uh, let's see what our map is telling me. Something I have to do here at the park entrance. Okay. What though? Glass cutter. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna. I'm thinking about it. I honestly thought th we're actually using a glass cutter for once. That's actually quite interesting. Strange. How come it was locked from the inside if there's no other exit? Or is there? Here's another exit. Oh, got the eye for that little guy. This looks creepy. You know what this rem it makes me think of? It makes me think of uh, um, Mystery C Case Files, the Ravenhurst uh, series. Missing a string. Whoa. No, someone was there. Anything else I can click on? There's something that- Oh, it's probably that. It's like, there's something creaking. I was like, yeah, it's probably the chandelier. Alright, let's get this guy, uh, poor guy's eye back. No? Where is it? Tra oh, it's a trapdoor token. I assumed it was the eye. Um... Okay. Uh. Oh, okay.
<laughs> Faster than light. I knew that one, that one was an easy puzzle too, so I mean... Yeah. <sighs> Saw that happening. Oh, who was that? At least I'm not hurt. That's why we need the flare. What is this place? It's like, oh, so <gasps> there's a lot of in there too. Oh, okay, no, I, I think we're gonna need a crowbar. I, th I thought it was gonna be a nice little mousey, but it looked creepy. It's dead. Maybe break it. The pulley is damaged and won't lock into place. I'll have to find a way to lock it while the door is open. <laughs> Got an axe. Need to ask you a question. Shh, don't shout. I need your help. And if you're down here, then you're in need of mine. We can't trust anyone out there. This place is not what it seems. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Who are you? Why are you locked up down here? I came here to settle an old score. My friend came out on top. For the time being. You're here to find some missing people, aren't you? But like me, you found yourself in trouble instead. I will help you get out of here and assist you in your investigation. But in return, I need you to release me. Trust me, we share the same foe. Do you like that? Uh, no. How can we help each other? Yeah. I know a bit about our enemy and this place. I will give you clues and tell you his story. I'll also give you a few small artifacts I managed to steal from him and keep hidden in my cell. In return, you'll release me. As you can see, my cell has quite a complex lock. The relief is the key. If I know my enemy, its pieces are scattered around the park, in the tunnels, trees, everywhere. Should you manage that, my assistance will turn from words to actions. Okay. Don't know if I trust him, but we still got his lighter. So, Anyway guys, I'm gonna end the video off here. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I definitely am. Uh, if you've liked this video, please hit that like button, comment, and share. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!